guys, this is Addison at Fort Stewart, and today we're going to talk about forms. Okay. All right, so I've just got a generic contact us uh, form right here, but uh, if you, um, there's so many different things that you could use for forms. We use ours for an internal ICE comment system, which has really, really worked out, and we also use it for our service work orders. It's, it's really great, so let me show you. So come over here to add content and we're going to scroll down. You've got several form options, which we'll get into later, but for this video, we're going to use legacy form. So go ahead and click and drag legacy form over here. And you've got your little menu. All right, so you've got add, edit, preview, and options. So you basically have to add your question to the menu uh, and then you can preview it and everything. So let's start. Name, and then we assign it what type of, of answer it's going to be. So this one's a text field, but look at all these different things you have. Um, text area, radio buttons, select box, tick box. You, you've got like all kinds of things. It's, it's really great. So text field, so, and then you can select whether or not it's required or not. So that's, that's fun too. Okay. So, um, how about, this is just going to be a bunch of random questions. What is your comment? So the last one was a text field, um, which would be smaller. Uh, what is your comment should be a text area, which will be bigger. Now, the, uh, the default is 50 by 3, but um, you can change that. I think it's a really nice default size, um, but you can play around with it, of course. Okay, so let's add that question. Um, would you like to be contacted? Okay, so let's, let's have the user select something. So I want a yes or no, right? Yes. So you look, it says, put each uh, answer options on a new line. So yes, no. Okay. Um, another one that's fun is the check box. So um, this one would be if you wanted the user to be able to select multiple answers. So how about what is your favorite color? Okay, and then we add the question. Okay, so we've got a few here. Um, I do want to say, guys, make sure you fill these out. Like, if it's an email address you're asking for, make sure you select that because when you do that, that's what prompts like your phone and computers to do the autofills for uh, users, and it just it makes it effortless, really, and it's, it's nice. It's a nice touch. So over in edit is where we can get back to our questions. So if I, if I want to change the name to first name, last name, I can do that here with a little edit button. Um, if I want, would you like to be contacted last, I can just press this little down button and move it down. Or I can trash something if I've just decided I don't want that anymore. So I can preview it. This is not a great preview. You'll, you'll see it on the page. It'll look better. Okay, so here's the options. Um, you can submit text can be different so um, it can so if your form can be um, submit my work order or um, you know whatever it is that could be a nice call to action button um, this message is what will pop up in green if you have the user staying on this page once they complete the um, the form so you can either have that they can stay on the page or if you jump down here, you see this redirect to another page after form submission. You can also have them go to another page. Um, so this is nice. We have this on our service work order where once they, once they complete the service work order, they go to a page that says, thank you for submitting your work order. And then it has a description of all of the different priorities. So the user kind of understands where they are in line. So that's, that's your two 
options, just so you know. Or you can have it go to the home page or whatever you would like, you know, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of options here. All right, so uh, send form submissions to an email address. All right, so we need it to go somewhere, right? Because if not, it's just going to stay in the MCOM email address. So, um, so let's say it's going to go to mine, Addison at internet.com, just making stuff up. And then if we want it to go to multiple email addresses, we just do one comma, no spaces, no nothing. Another person at internet.com, okay? And we can just keep going with that. Um, the most I've ever done is six. I, I don't think it really likes more than six, but don't quote me on that, I can't really remember. Now, um, yes, your answer is always yes, you want a CAPTCHA. Um, the CAPTCHA is those funny little letters that are kind of hard to read, um, and you do always want a CAPTCHA because having a form is kind of like leaving your windows open at your house when you're not there. Um, they do present vulnerabilities, and, and we, don't, we don't want a lot of forms all over our website. We do want to kind of limit them, so you make sure you're checking back to make sure that you know, users all are using your forms, and if they're not, maybe, maybe you should delete them. So, okay, um, you can have them upload to a set, but I think most people are just gonna have the submissions go to um, an email address, so. All right, so let's see what it looks like on the page. All right, so pretty bland, <laughs> right? It's, it's white on white, so that's, that's, kinda, that's kinda bland. So uh, what I like to do is I like to title the uh, form so let's go up here. About weed from you. Okay, so we'll just do that. Okay, and then I want the text box and the uh, form to be the same background color. So I'm going to make my main column. A, uh, a light gray color. I usually have a, like a, a standard light gray, but I, I can't find it right now. I'm not going to do that. And then a little bit of padding. Oh, it's already set. This is my second take, so cool. All right. There we go. So that's a little bit better. You can also add a little thing like tell us about yourself or whatever you would like, really. It's, it's your form, so go for it. I just feel like giving it a little bit of background really, really sets it apart from the rest of the page for the for the user. So, um, all right, guys, I think that's all for forms. Um, if you have, need help with forms, let me know. Comment in the um, in the comments below or give me a, an email. So, all right, guys, that's about it. Thanks for tuning in.